This video aims to highlight why the teaching of online safety to children has an importance in today's classroom. According to the Office for National Statistics 2016, it was reported that 89% of British households had access to the internet. This was a 32% increase from 2006, where over half of British households had access to the internet. Also, they reported out of the 89% of households, 99% of these had children. This is a staggering amount of children that could potentially have access to anything online. The Children's Commission in 2017 states that one third of internet users are under the age of 18. With that, three to four year olds are said to spend an average of eight hours and 18 minutes a week online, compared to the last year where it was an average of six hours and 48 minutes. At such a young age, children can be exposed to anything posted on the internet, if not protected correctly. The Department for Education 2016 regards the use of technology as a substantial area in safeguarding issues in children. In their report, Keeping Children Safe in Education, they detailed that with children using the internet, they are open to child sexual exploitation, radicalisation, sexual predators and technology that often facilitates harm. Lord Best said that the internet is hugely beneficial but children need to be made aware of the hazards that come with using it reported by Burns 2017 for the BBC. Other issues Lord Best raised about online safety are fake news stories published by unreliable sources and addictive internet gaming causing harm to children's sleeping patterns. With the rapid progression of social networking, cyberbullying is becoming more prominent with easy access to send abusive messages instantly. Bloom 2007 of TES informs us that nearly half of children between the ages of 10 and 15 are worried or scared about going online, as recorded from a poll conducted by cybersecurity company Kapersky Lab. From the same poll, it was found that 21% of the children asked were worried about a stranger bullying them, and 18% worried that a stranger might ask them to do something that they would find uncomfortable. Even though these children are worried about these occurrences happening, they are aware of that danger to them when online. With the worry, they can be made aware of ways to keep themselves safe. Although it isn't just strangers that can bully children online, friends or other children they know can cause harm through cyberbullying. The same poll from the Kapersky Lab found that 36% of children regretted something posted online because it had a negative impact on a friend or somebody they knew. Childline 2017 tells us that although cyberbullying is not currently against the law, harassment or threatening behaviour is. They also detail on reasons why people choose to bully others online. These reasons are Sending an abusive message is instant and easy to send. It feels safer to the bully to hide behind a piece of technology and they can feel distant from what they are doing as they can't see the damage being done to the victim. Also, Childline specifies the ways in which cyberbullying can occur through text messages, sexting, email, instant messaging, chat rooms, social networking sites, online gaming, abusing personal information and online grooming. With the wide range of ways to cyberbully, it is no wonder that it's a concern. Ofsted 2012 found that one school had done a significant amount of work with pupils about the dangers online and how to stay safe. But this came after concerns about an incident on a social networking site. It should not have to get to this point before acting on it and making pupils aware about their safety online. As teachers, it is our responsibility to keep children safe. The Department for Education 2011 sets out the first point in Teaching Standard 1 of establishing a safe and stimulating environment for all pupils. This demonstrates a need to teach the importance of online safety to pupils for use inside and outside the classroom. The Department for Education emphasises this importance through the Primary National Curriculum 2013, where the Key Stage 1 computing aim states, Children should use technology safely and respectfully, keeping personal information private and identifying where to go for help and support when they have concerns about content or contact on the internet or other online technologies. And the Key Stage 2 aim, which states children should use technology safely, respectfully and responsibly. They should recognise acceptable and unacceptable behaviour, identify a range of ways to report about content and contact. As we are already aware, 
the increase of online activity of three to four year olds is on the rise and so dangers and how to stay safe does need to be communicated as early as possible. What can us as teachers do? The Department for Education 2016 declares that governors should ensure that staff have online safety training integrated in the overarching safeguarding approach. Since 2016, the NSPCC offers an updated introductory online course for keeping children safe online, which is recognised for continuing professional development. This can be found at www.nspcc.org.uk forward slash what you can do forward slash get expert training forward slash keeping children safe online course. If you need more advice on what to do when a child discloses an issue concerning online safety, ChildNet 2015 has listed advice on what to do. You can find this at www.childnet.com forward slash teachers and professionals forward slash for working with young people forward slash need help. Bloom 2017 who writes for TES shares some tips to keep children safe online which can be adapted for the classroom. They are to talk to them about the potential dangers, encourage them to talk to you about their online experiences and in particular about anything that makes them feel uncomfortable or threatened. Set clear ground rules about what they can and can't do online and explain why you have put them in place. Through encouraging talk, children may feel comfortable to open up about any concerns they may have at the time about staying safe online or even after the discussion about concerns that arise. There are national and international events that can be recognised within school to promote online safety. One international event, Internet Safety Day, was most recently celebrated on Tuesday the 7th of February 2017. The purpose of the day is to highlight the positive uses of technology and to enable an opportunity to explore how everyone can have a role in creating a safer online environment. Whilst this is a good opportunity to promote online safety within schools, all the work to encourage online safety should not just be exhausted on this day. The teaching of the dangers and ways in which children can stay safe online needs to be apparent regularly. Another teaching standard that must be met is in Standard 8, communicate effectively with parents with regard to pupils' achievements and well-being. By making parents aware of the dangers online and how they can keep their children safe encourages the well-being of each child. The UK Council for Child Internet Safety 2017 conveyed that outstanding practice in educating parents about online safety demonstrated interactive engagement with parents, helping them build skills and confidence about online risks their children face, as well as regular and relevant online safety resources and sessions offered. The Share Aware campaign ran by the O2 and the NSPCC 2016 shares the advice that parents should talk to their children about their online activity to keep them safe. As a result of the Share Aware campaign, NetAware was set up for parents to understand what each website, app or game their children have access to contains and the appropriate ages that these online features advise. Parents can also comment their opinions on each feature, helping other parents understand how safe the apps can be. As teachers, we can communicate this tool to parents to ensure their children are safe online outside of school. It can be found at www.netaware.org.uk. An organisation parents should be aware of is the Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre, or CEOP 2017. They work to keep children safe from sexual abuse and sexual grooming online. Both parents and children should be made aware of their website, ceop.police.uk forward slash safety centre. So if under the circumstance they need to report a case of online sexual grooming, they can seek advice. It is made clear on the website that if a child is known to be in immediate danger, then 999 must be dialed and should be reported to the police. Children should be made aware of where they can go if they don't feel comfortable talking to an adult they know. Again, the CEOP shows support to children that have concerns about their own safety or the safety of others when it comes to sexual grooming. The CEOP also redirects children to www.childline.org.uk if they have concerns over cyberbullying or other types of bullying. By making children aware of these websites, they then have the knowledge of where they can seek support if they find themselves in a dangerous situation online. 
For the future, it is important we look out for updated resources and information that can help keep us up to date with new potential dangers so we can make parents aware of them, as well as to keep ourselves up to date on how we can encourage children to stay safe online.